Hi, this is Dr. Centeno, and we are going to talk about a really important study today. A randomized controlled trial of total knee replacement. Despite hundreds of billions spent on this particular invasive surgery, we've never had one of these before. So this is a groundbreaking study. And this study compared 100 knee arthritis patients who were randomized to either get knee replacement or physical therapy. And a physician from Harvard, of all places, said about this study once it was all done, for most patients, the dramatic pain relief associated with total knee replacement provides a compelling rationale to choose surgery. But he also noted that other patients, particularly those who are more risk adverse, i.e. read weenies, may prefer non-surgical care. Now, how compelling was the relief associated with knee replacement? Because it had better be pretty darn compelling when you're talking about amputating my joint and sticking a prosthesis. <laughs> the bottom line is that this is the main graph to understand from the study. It's a functional scale. The higher you go, the better you're doing. This is where they started. This is where the non-surgical group got to. This is where the knee replacement got to. Now, this difference between the two is key because there's a little thing called the MCID and you have to beat the MCID, the minimal clinically important difference in order to be able to say that this difference is actually important to the patient. And that's the MCID. So they're barely beating the MCID. So that tiny difference above and beyond the MCID is the amount that we know that this knee amputation beats physical therapy. That ain't so good. Now, the number needed to treat is also a key component in this study because this is a clinical number that basically says that if you get a 1, 100% of the patients will respond to the therapy. But if you get a 10, it means you need to treat 10 patients before you get a single one that will respond. In this study, the NTT was 5 to 6 to get a 15% change in function. That means you need to amputate the knee joints of 5 to 6 patients to get a single one who will say that they got more than 15% increase in function. Ouch! 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 So what are the side effects of knee replacement in this study? Bottom line is there were quite a few. Uh, there were infections and blood clots and the need for more surgery and fractures. So by one year, how many patients felt good enough with just the physical therapy that they were able to avoid a knee replacement? Three in four. That's not so great for knee replacement. So bottom line is if you want to learn more about how to avoid knee replacement, see Regenix.com. And thank you so much for watching today.